Today, I am going to be climbing the tallest mountain in Japan, Mount Fuji. I'm already super grateful we chose to do this trail. It will take us two days in total to get to the top and getting all the way up to 12,388 feet at the top. This has to be one of the most amazing sunrises I've ever seen. After hiking for a few hours today, we will be staying in a traditional Japanese mountain hut and experiencing everything that has to offer. Let's start this epic adventure. Just saying goodbye to Chloe and Lennon. They're staying at this beautiful hotel for tonight. Me and the boys are gonna drive over to the base of the mountain and start the hike. Boys, back by popular demand is Sam. You might remember him from the Everest base camp trek. No. And our South African friend, Alan. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's do this. As we were driving over to Mount Fuji to start hiking, we saw this theme park right behind us. Apparently, this is the steepest roller coaster in the world. And this is the same one that Mr. Beast and his team just came to and rented out the entire park and road. So we're gonna make a quick pit stop and try this out. So this right behind me is actually the steepest roller coaster in the world, but it's closed today. So we did this one instead. And it was honestly the most scary roller coaster I've ever been on in my life. We were upside down almost the entire time. We need to stock up on snacks for the hike anyway. And since there's this really cool 7-Eleven with Iron Man on top of it right here, what a better place to get snacks for our hike. These are my favorite thing in the world. Konnichiwa. Arigato gozaimasu. Snacks secured. There it is. This is so beautiful out here. This right behind me is the start of the trail to the top of Mount Fuji. We just drove about an hour through the beautiful Japanese countryside and made it to the base here. We're at about 4,000 feet. We have 8,000 feet of vertical elevation to climb to get to the top. We just got our first look at Fuji from up close. It's a little intimidating. Let's see how long this takes us. Fuji, Fuji, Fuji. Ready for this, Sam? Oh, we're ready. It begins. Okay, I lied. This is the official start of the trail. And we're off. So there are four different routes you can take to get to the top of Fuji. All of them start at different locations and are a little bit different. The Yoshida Trail is the most popular, has the most huts to stay in along the way. And it's probably the easiest. Naturally, we chose the Gotemba Trail, which is the hardest, the longest, steepest, but it's also the least crowded. So we're hoping we get the best views of the mountain. And just like that, we have arrived at our first hut. There's already beautiful views of the valley behind us. I'm already super grateful we chose to do this trail. Us and then nobody else around. Normally, that's an epic view of Mount Fuji right there, but the weather's been so bipolar today. It's been raining almost all morning, so it's cloudy over the mountain. Hoping that clears up. So here's the game plan. Tonight, we're gonna hike four hours to a hut nearest the summit of Mount Fuji. We are going to then make ourselves at home at said hut, eat some food, take a nap, rest, relax, wake up very early tomorrow morning to try and be the first ones to the summit and watch sunrise from the summit. The clouds are just blowing over the top of Fuji right now. We've gotten little peaks of it here and there. We've also seen the trail which we have to climb up next. It's switchbacks all the way to about 8,000 feet and our hut is right there. This mountain isn't super technical to climb. The reason it's difficult is because of the sheer elevation and the steepness of it. I don't know if that's a word. I like this part right here. It's pretty straight up and down. And there it is. That's the best view we've had of it so far. It looks more beautiful when it's snow capped, but being up this close to it is really special. Look at the views overlooking the lake in the valley. Right here is a little preview of how we're gonna be coming down the mountain tomorrow. 
Someone told me it was good for you to walk backwards. I don't know. I look stupid, don't I? Yeah. So I figured this was a great time to enjoy my melon pond. My favorite convenience store snacks in Japan are number one, egg salad sandwich, number two, crab mayo over rice, and number three, this melon bread. This is tough, there's just no flat ground. It's all uphill, and we're also on a time crunch now. We started the hike much later than we planned on, and we were told the hut stopped serving food at five o'clock. So we have about an hour and a half of hiking left and 45 minutes to get there before they close the kitchen. Let's go. I got so excited when I saw this hut from down there, and I realized it wasn't ours, we're the next one. I cannot stay today. Taking a rest inside, not allowed. I don't think we're staying here, boys. Hard to beat that view right there. This guy's a machine, they're running up the mountain. Please tell me that's not our hut. Staying there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's our hut. Let's go! Oh, I'm too tired for this. Yeah, well done. Woo. Oh my gosh, that was tough. Five miles, 5,600 feet, four Peace. hours. <laughs> well, we vastly underestimated that hike, how hard it was going to be and how long it was going to take us. But we made it. It's a beautiful sight. So here is home for the night. Konnichiwa. Bag here. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Okay, thank you, thank you. We were just brought hot Japanese curry and rice. This looks so good, especially with it being so cold outside. This might be the best curry in the world right there. <laughs> Really curious how they get all the food and supplies up here because this is a ways up the mountain, so I'm going to ask him. I have one question. Brought by bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like maybe a porter brings stuff up, maybe donkeys. Bulldozer. They use technology here. I'm a little too tall for this hut. <laughs> So here's a little hut tour. This is the dining room right here. And then the kitchen and some snack areas back here. And then this is our bedroom right here. So all three of us are going to be in here on these three beds. And if you want to go outside, you just grab a pair of Crocs. Those are a little small. How'd you guys find good sizes? <laughs> big sizes. <laughs> Alright, gonna go check out the bathroom here. Oh, nice. I was not expecting to have a toilet up here, so that's a win. If this toilet had a bidet on it, I would freak out. Alright guys, come over here real quick. I'm so curious to see if we actually all fit in here. <laughs> This looks like, it's like three feet high, four feet high maybe, and then you have this over your head. It's like sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> Slept about what 10 minutes last night? Five. <laughs> about right. It is currently 1 15 in the morning. We have about a three hour hike to get up to the summit, and the sun rises at about 5 a.m. So we're going to try and get there before the sun rises and watch it all from the top. These 
are the views we came for right here. We have the most incredible sunrise over the lake. There's the town right here and the ocean in the background. This has to be one of the most amazing sunrises I've ever seen. Although we are a little underprepared, it was about 30 degrees all morning and all the Japanese people are decked out in full cold weather suits, then there's us. Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> sunrise just keeps getting better and better. There are now sun rays coming off in every direction. So here's what the other trail looks like coming up. Hundreds of people. I'm pretty glad we took the one we did. We just came into a mountain hut up at the top here. We have piping hot ramen, hot drinks. This was like $8 worth every penny. It does not get better than this, especially because it's so cold outside. There are a couple huts, a couple little stores where you can buy souvenirs up here. I just love the vibes. It feels like the top of a ski resort, sort of. And all these Japanese signs. Whoa, those are cool. I have to get one of these. These are too cool. That is the shadow of Mount Fuji right there. Over the valley. Right behind me is the crater on the inside of Mount Fuji. And there's actually a trail that goes all the way around this crater. So we've just been walking around it. We're about halfway around, just getting all the different viewpoints. So this building up here doubles as a post office. We can actually grab a postcard and send it from here. And up at the top, there's also this really beautiful shrine. You always bow as you go through these shrines. It's beautiful. We officially made it all the way around the crater. And this is the shrine. We first came to when we summited this morning when it was still dark outside, which means we've officially finished. It's time to head back down. That was awesome, man. That was fun. We have found the bulldozer he was speaking of. This is how they get supplies up to the huts. That's pretty incredible. Very cool. Just because we made it to the top of the mountain does not mean that the fun is over. The Japanese have a very unique way of getting down the mountain. Let's go! I feel like I'm gonna fall. This is the most fun I've ever had. It's just like loose gravel that feels like sand. It goes straight down, but it cushions your step when you jump. It's, it makes it so easy. I feel like a reindeer. Epic trip, boys. Well-deserved shave ice. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.